بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نحمد و نسلی علی رسول الكریم اما بعد In this current climate one can understand that when there is a deficiency whether it's deen or dunya performing the Eid Salat in the Eid Gah, reading Salat, Tarawih in the Masajid or basic worldly necessities or luxuries when we don't have it we can feel it Likewise one should ponder in the Akhirat when I'm in the Qabr and I don't have the necessities of the grave what will be my condition on the day of Qiyamah when I will need the necessities to protect me from the torments of Akhirat, what will be my condition? So all the time a believer, every situation is taking them close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No difficulty, ajabal li amri al-mu'min, in amrahu kullahu lahu khair. Every situation for a believer is good. Difficulties come to him, he makes sabr, fakana khairul lahu, that is good for him. Ease, luxuries, comfort comes to him for shakara, he's grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is better for him. So he diet, guidance, all this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but one should check, am I drawing the amount of he diet that I need? Anbiya alayhi salatu wassalam were perpetually restless for this iman. The day you see when make dua, Wajjan Nubni Ibrahim alayhi salatu wassalam, who had such manaqib, fadail, virtues, he's making dua, Ya Allah, Wajjan Nubni wa baniya an na'bud al-asnam. Allah save me, save my progeny from worshipping idols. Can we imagine the veracity of the statement of a Nabi who was the Imam of Ikhlas, was an Imam of Tawheed and the Oneness of Allah, yet he is making dua. We are encouraged, Rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da idh hadaytana. That this hidayat is a very rare commodity, Allah. You have given us this hidayat, do not snatch this hidayat away. Tawfiq to do a'mal, we've been given tawfiq to do these a'mal in these mubarak ayyam. Ya Allah, don't snatch the hidayat, don't snatch the tawfiq, don't let us lose the treasures that we've acquired. So when a person gets a treasure, the first thing he worries about is protecting it. That's what banks are made up of, that's what vaults are made up of, that your most valuable assets, how can you protect it? And when there is wealth, that's where there is thieves. When there is Iman and there is Amal, that's where you find the Shayateen, they want to snatch our Iman. And the Dua, Ya Muthabbit al qulub Thabbit, O oh, the one that consolidates, that establishes the hearts, Ya Allah, stabilize our hearts on your Deen. Wa Ya Musarrif al qulub O oh, the one who diverts hearts and has the power to change hearts, Ya Allah, change our hearts, ala ta'atik, in the direction of your obedience. Ya Allah, let us, our hearts face your Qibla. Let this heart be focused only on to you, Ya Allah. Otherwise, if a person is not focused, then he'll eventually be focused in what he should not be doing. And that's where guna and ma'asiyat and different forms of evil creeps in. A beautiful garden needs effort to keep it beautiful. The day you decide you don't want to make effort automatically, evil bushes will start coming, then you'll find snakes, and that place is a hazard now. This heart is a garden. We need to maintain this garden, we need to groom this garden, we need to look after this garden to make sure it stays lush and plush. And for negativity to come in, no effort is required at all. So guna a person just makes toba astaghfirullah and he thinks okay I just did my duty, no. But we need to check practically, am I backing up my words with reality? You see there was in one restaurant, the lady just finished a meal, <coughs> she finished her meal and the waiter came and asked the lady that what would you like for dessert? So she said, uh, give me an assortment of, of ice creams, add two scoops of chocolate chips, add maybe one scoop of strawberry, you can sprinkle some Turkish delights over it, 
and I want it coated with thick chocolate sauce. So the waiter said, sure, no problem, madam. Would you want me to add the cherries on the top? So she said, no, sorry, sir. Thank you for that offer, but I'm on a diet. Thank you for that offer, but I'm on a diet. So our diet is we say not our tongues, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. But our practical actions we consume in, we indulge in. We need to draw the line. So what Allah and His Rasul have told us, I need to follow that. Like a doctor gives you instructions, three tablets twice a day before meals. A person understands that this medication is good for me. Likewise, the awamir of Allah, and the sunnah of Janab Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, the medication is not twice a day or three times a day or just before meals or just after meals, but 24 hours of our day, 365 days of the year, we need to be checking and evaluating ourselves. You see, there was one person, he went to the doctor, he had some breathing problems, so the doctor said, you know what, the problem is that you are smoking a lot and the only solution for you is to quit smoking. You need to quit smoking. So he said, doctor, I've researched the topic, I've read a lot about it, and I've evaluated the entire research and data and definitely I can concur with you that smoking kills, it is harmful, it is disastrous, it is dangerous. I've read so much on the harms of smoking, I've decided to quit reading. I've decided to quit reading. So the actual crunch, we read the Quran, we read Ahadith, we heard the Bayanat, we've heard so much, but we're not quoting the right thing. We're not adopting the correct thing. So Toba is the door which we need to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no matter how big the sun, no matter how far down the line, all the time we should turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. La taqnatu min rahmatillah, we should never ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They say amongst the Bani Israel, <coughs> كانت امرأة بغية. There was a prostitute, an unchaste woman. وكانت مفتنة للناس بجمالها. And she was endowed with beauty. People were infatuated. They were captivated and enchanted by her beauty. And she always had a spot, a position. And whoever passed by a house, رآها قائدة في دارها على السرير. And she was sitting. And obviously, uh, that was her occupation. And whoever passed by would look at her, إفتتن بها. He would be an amid, enchanted by her beauty. But ever, anytime he wanted to uh, take benefit from her services, there was a charge, plus minus 10 dinars. So he would pay the amount and then he would be given a time and uh, they would uh, fulfill the requirements. فَمَرَّ بِهَا ذَاتَ يَوْمٍ عَابِدْ مِنْ Amongst the pious people of the Bani Israel once passed by that area. فَوَقَعَ بَسَرُهُ فِي الدَّارِ And he noticed this lady sitting فَفْتَتَنَ بِهَا He also became enchanted by her beauty. Then the war started. فَجَعَلَ يُجَاهِدُ نَفْسَهُ so there was a, a tug of war between him and his nafs and he tried hard to fight it فَلَمْ يَزَلْ ذَلِكَ عَنْهُ but he could not sustain the strong temptations of his nafs حَتَّى بَعَ قُمَاشًا كَانَ لَهُ وَجَمْعَ مِنَ الدَّنَانِيرِ 
So whatever he could sell, he sold it, whatever money, his life savings, whatever he had, he decided I'm going to go ahead with it. فَجَاءَ إِلَىٰ بَابِهَا So he came to the door, so he was uh, introduced to the collector and told that you need to pay this amount of money. He paid the 10 dinars, he was given a time to come. وَقَدْ تَزَيَّنَتْ وَجَلَسَتْ فِي بَيْتِهَا عَلَىٰ سَرِيرِهَا she prepared herself for the time when he was supposed to come. فَدَّخَلَ عَلَيْهَا الْعَابِرِ He entered and he sat with her on her bed. فَلَمَّا مَدَّ يَدَهُ إِلَيْهَا As he advanced towards her, تَدَارَكَهُ اللَّهُ تَعَلَىٰ بِرَحْمَتِهِ The mercy of Allah SWT engulfed him. And obviously the barakat of his previous amal that he did in his life. فَوَقَعَ فِي قَلْبِهِ أَنَّ اللَّهَ يَرَاهُ فِي هَذِهِ الْحَالَةِ It came in his heart that Allah above the earth is watching me. وَهُوَ فِي الْحَرَامِ And you are in haram. And are you ready to destroy your amal of your lifetime? فَوَقَعَتِ الْهَيْبَةُ فِي قَلْبِهِ Fear overwhelmed him. وَرْتَعَدَتْ And he started shaking, trembling. Fear overtook him. The color of his face changed. He became pale. So this lady has seen him. And she's seen his condition. And she asked him, أَيُّ شَيْنَ أَصَّابَكَ What has happened to you? He said, I fear my Allah. Give me permission to leave. So she said, Destruction be upon you. Waihaka. Inna kathiram min al nas yatamanon al ladi wajatahu. Many people dream of what you have now in front of you. What what is wrong with you? So he said, Inni akhafullah. I fear my Allah. As for the money that I've given you, it is halal for you. I give it to you as a hajja, as a gift. Please let me leave. So she was surprised and she was shocked because she never witnessed a situation like this before. So the lady said, okay, no problem, you can leave. Tell me where you come from, what's your name? He informed her of his name and the city, the town where he loved and resided. And he left. And as he was leaving, يَدْعُو بِالْوَيْلِ وَالثُّبُورِ وَيَبْكِي عَلَىٰ نَفْسِهِ And he was restless in tears. And he took dust and he threw it of himself. The lady, when she seen his condition, she also became awestruck. And she told herself, This is the first guna he's committed. And such fear has overwhelmed him. I have committed guna for so many years. And he is Allah is such that he fears this Allah. I don't fear this Allah, yet it's the same Allah. So I should be more fearful than him. فَتَابَتْ إِلَى اللَّهِ So she made Tawbah. وَأَغْلَقَتْ بَابَهَا عَنِ النَّاسِ She stopped all wrongs that she was doing. وَلَبِسَتْ ثِيَابًا خَلَقَةً And she wore toward, torn, tattered, worn out clothing. وَأَقْبَلَتْ عَلَى الْإِبَادَةِ And she started turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and she got, got close proximity to Allah. And one day it came close into her heart that maybe for my akhirat I should marry this person. He done so much good for me. He introduced me to Allah and I can learn more about deen. That will assist me for my akhirat. So she got ready. She got her servants and whatever possession she had and she went to that city, the village, which she was informed about. She asked people, she was told that this is a certain Abid because people knew him, he was a pious person. She knocked on the door and as he opened, She opened her parda so that he could recognize her. فَلَمَّا رَآهَا الْعَابِدِ عَرَفَ وَجْهَهَا وَتَذَكَّرَ الْأَمْرِ As he seen her face, he remembered the situation between them. فَصَاحَ سَيْحَةً He gave a very loud shriek and scream. 
وَخَرَجَتْ رُوحُهُ And his soul departed. The lady standing there was very grief and in distress. She said, I came here to find my Allah and this was my means to get closer to Allah and this person has left. After the janazah was done, she asked people, هَلْ مِنْ أَقْرِبَائِهِ Does he have any family, relatives, etc. So they said, إِنَّ لَهُ أَخًا صَالِحًا He has a brother. Uh, if you want, you can speak to him. So she said, give him my proposal. So he accepted. And فَتَزَوَّجَ uh, بِهَا They got married. فَوُلِدَ سَبْعَ مِنَ الْأَوْلِيَاءِ الْعُبَّادِ they say from that progeny, many, many pious people was the result of that nikah and marriage. So we find we should never lose hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No matter what guna a person has done, we should always be hopeful of the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Like mentioned previously, at least 100 times morning and evening istighfar. We can't say the full istighfar, even astaghfirullah is sufficient. And then as mentioned, the five or six istighfars which we should be thinking about. Let us make muraqaba of that. Qala iblisu wa izzatika la abrahu ughwi ibadak. That shaitan has taken an oath, Ya Allah, I will take your servants to Jahannam as long as their souls are in their bodies. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَعِزَّتِي وَجَلَالِي لَا أَزَالُوا أَغْفِرُ لَهُمْ مَسْتَغْفَرُونِ As long as they continue making istighfar and tawbah, I will continue to forgive them. Hundred times morning and evening we did third kalima, part of that was لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ People say لَا حَوْلَ It's لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ a person should say that at least 100 times morning and evening with the third kalima. If Allah gives us tawfiq, let us increase. In the riwayat it is mentioned, مَنْ قَالَ لَا حَوْلَ وَلَا قُوَّةَ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ كَانَ دَوَاءً مِنْ تِسْأَةِ وَتَسْعِينَ دَاءً It is a cure and a remedy for 99 diseases. Physical diseases, mental diseases, psychological diseases. Aysaruha alham. The hadith is clear. Raul Hakim wa qala sahihul isnad. That the lightest cure from amongst the diseases is the cure for grief, for stress, for psychological disorders, for mental illnesses. Nabi alayhi salatu wassalam has come with the solutions for all the problems of mankind in dunya and akhirat till the day of qiyamah we have the solutions now we need to practice on these solutions may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen